here in Napa at Maryvale Winery. Christina Perry, hi. hi. Is this your first visit to Napa? This is my first time here. And what have you spent your time in Napa doing? Um, this. I've been here at this lovely vineyard uh, all day and looking at this fountain and sound checking and uh, it's beautiful. I know, I'm lying. I walked down Main Street and it was really nice. Just a year ago, you were waiting tables in LA. Your yeah. song got featured on So You Think You Can Dance, and now you've got a record deal. Like, it's a whole new life for you. What's the, the number one biggest thing, biggest way your life has changed? Um, the biggest way my life has changed is uh, being able to wake up and, and play music, you know? There was like, for years and years and years, I woke up every day and had to go to a job, you know, and, and had that. I'd wake up and cover my tattoos and just like be, you know, this, this other person and then now I get to wake up every day and just be me and, and play music and sing songs and it's like blows my mind. It's fantastic. Tell us your um, <laughs> your biggest horror story, waiting tables, your biggest nightmare customer. Every server has these. Oh man. Um, well I worked in this really fancy restaurant um, in Hollywood and these like uh, I think they were the Russian mob, and they would come in like these like diamond studded Lamborghinis, and um, and they were so rude, and like they wear they, their 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 leather jackets match their leather Lamborghinis. It was really of course they body. did, and um, and they were just really hard to handle. <laughs> <laughs> were they good tippers? That's the most important question. Well, for how horrible they were, I don't think so. <laughs> um, show us your favorite piece of ink. Artwork, body art, and tell La me. Mia Familia what? in Italian. It's beautiful. Tell me about it. Um, basically, I got it about uh, two years ago, and um, I always wanted one here. Like, I admire people with the pretty writing, and I was like, what would I have on my chest that I would forever not be sick of? Or, or like, and then it's my family. Your new record is coming out very soon. What are you most excited for us to hear? Well, we've all heard Jar of Hearts, of course. That's the big song that's out there. Yeah. Um, what have we not heard yet that you can't wait for us to hear and know about you? Um, uh, I don't know. I have this one song called Sad Song that's one of my like children, Like I feel. like I wrote it a long time ago, and I'm excited about putting it out. It's very you know, kind of sad and, and sad. Yeah. Aww. Really heartfelt lyrics, I think. Why were you sad? Um, geez, I don't know. I, I wrote it a couple years ago. I think I, I just moved to LA. I was homesick. I was super, super homesick. That's what that song's about. And, um, but my other favorite that I'm excited about is Arms. And that I've been playing here and there at little radio things, so some people are getting hip to it. But it's my newest favorite that I have. Mm. Are you going to play it today? I am. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking a couple minutes to talk to us. Oh, sure. And looking forward to the live performance today. Thank you.